cut. Hello everybody, it's Barry here. Hope you, you are well. Welcome to our kitchen. Today we're doing a kitchen gadget test. I do a couple of different playlists on these. There's ones where I bundle them all together. There's like hours and hours of those. And I also do the individual ones, including kitchen gadget of the week, which is now. Today's gadget of the week is this. I should not have done that. I don't know if you ever go in charity shops, but you can get some really random appliances in there. Uh, I find it quite fun just looking at them, but they decided to buy this purely because the lady didn't know what it was. Um, £2.50, that's actually really good value. And by buying it, I was given to charity too. Uh, charity shops as well, amazing for sofas. Little top tip, we get some of our sofas from there. Uh, but the lady was like, there's no instructions with it. I can't tell you what it is. And I was like, oh no, I'm sure it's some sort of sandwich toaster. <laughs> it's actually so old now, I've had it that long, the, the um, charity shop sticker label they put on is worn. Um, let's say I'm sure there was some sort of sticker here. Uh, there's, there's, a, there's a dent somewhere, there's a little dent and a scratch, there's a huge scratch along the logo. But if you think that's bad, I don't know if they had a pet cat. Literally the base where they've obviously used it, that has been hacked up loads. <laughs> so it's obviously had a fair bit of use. It's got a UK sort of plug on it, so we're okay there. Um, but that is literally it. So I told myself I would not look fully at what this is until um, I've done the video. And my thoughts are that it's it looks like an electronic pie maker because you've probably got some heat there maybe. Could be a crepe maker. You know, like British pancakes, but even then the, the lip is so high and I've had those before and they're just flat. There's no edge on it. So I'm going to set myself a challenge of making three different recipes in this and then we'll work out what it is. I think it is a pancake maker, um, but let's go. This is going to be a lot of fun. We're going to start with the pancakes. It's a Monday morning. It's an excuse for me to have pancakes. I'm loving it. Bowl, shimmy in some plain flour, unnecessary salt bay. All right. This is a hundred milliliters of milk straight from a cow. Well, I presume, two eggs, a little trickle of oil, because that just helps to get it cooking. Almost like with the air fryer when we brushed the oil on that corn the other day. That was so good, oh my gosh. Vanilla extract, just because I want it a little sweet. And then we just whiskey whisk this all together into a batter. And that is basically it. If you literally just give that a good old beat, that is a nice smooth batter. You can sieve the flour, but I tell you, one to two minutes of aggressive beating like that, and it's as smooth as you need. Just a little bit of elbow grease, and that's a true story. One of my first jobs when I worked in a spare car parts shop, um, I was pranked and someone said, uh, can you go see if we've got any elbow grease in stock? And I went up to the stock room for like 30 minutes. Yeah. So I've not turned it on yet, and that was one thing I noticed, there was no on or off switch at all, which actually, to be fair, in a toaster, sometimes you get that, sometimes you don't, but I mean, I would personally prefer that. Oh yeah, cool. And that is getting hot. Wow. <laughs> okay, uh, batter up. I think I'm just gonna wait till that light goes green, uh, and then we will just pour it in and go for it and see what happens. I think it's gonna be okay. Obviously, British pancakes, it's very popular uh, to flip them. There is no way I'm doing that in this. So that me with this huge electrical appliance trying to go, way, or I could just turn it over. Let's not do that. Let's not do that. All right, let's go for it. It might not be the whole way. Oh my gosh, no, it's gonna be the whole way. Oh no, I can't tilt it. Can I tilt it? Is that gonna be hot? Oh, that is hot. That is hot. That is hot. Ah, ah, oh. I don't think this is a pancake maker. <laughs> Um, because that's going to be a ginormous pancake and that mix normally for me will make at least two or three. I'm so tempted right now to go whoop, but this is red hot and it's got nothing to support on so it warp my, no. We'll have to still flip it though. Now just for reference, the red light's gone off now which normally means it's probably stopped warming up, it's either hit its temperature or not. Ooh, what the heck was that? Oh wow, it's bubbling. <laughs> It ain't cooking very fast. Well, I guess that's why the red light's on. Um, but we will get there. It's very hard to get a pancake wrong. It's just egg and anything with egg in it, genuinely, you can I mean you can cook an egg on a car, it kind of works. I've got the supervisor coming to keep an army. All right, Ames, what do you think? Great. All right, I just turn my back to wash the jug and I look back and it's smoking like crazy. This is what I was expecting to see if I was using. 
hurt using it for the first time. <laughs> they look like some weird blanket. What the heck? <laughs> what is that? What is that? And somehow it's got browned on there. It's got, it rose so high. Oh my God. <laughs> it's very easy to lift still. I'm pushing on with this. It's not browned enough. Okay, it's been a minute longer and I've just had a little cheeky peek and you can see, I'll see if I can do it this side. Du -du -du. It's browning on the bottom. So, I need a bigger surface area fish slicey thing. <laughs> That's a pancake. That is a super sized pancake. I'm not, I'm not gonna complain. The thing I'm finding with this machine is every time I turn my back, it starts like smoking again. I'm not making the same mistake twice. I went to get the bananas and the Nutella. Oh. <laughs> this side to me, ah. Ooh, looked wet. That is pancakey. This is so hot. This thing's like roasting. And um, well, let's make a pancake. I mean, I say pancake, um, but it, it's more sort of crinkle cut. The air, to be fair, has come out of it now. Uh, it has flattened right down like it would normally, but it has given it like a, a real sort of ripple effect. Is it folding? Yes, it is. Okay, that's cool. That could be the biggest pancake <laughs> I've ever made. It's more of a burrito. Oh, but I'll take it. Oh, it is a teeny bit. Oh no, that's the banana. As I say, it's a little thicker than I would have liked, but the thickness is fine. I think perhaps pouring the batter in whilst it was cold and then gently heating it, I might have been able to make two. It's delicious. It's just enormous. <laughs> I think it's clear to say that its probably prime purpose is not to make a pancake, but it does. My second one, pizza. <sighs> so this next one, I just foolishly looked at my Instagram stories. I posted like what I was doing today. I normally do a little tease. Uh, and someone's literally replied to me, I think it's this, and I could not unsee it. Uh, it's, it this is a black thing though. Uh, it looks almost identical to the machine. And it says it's an electronic pizza maker, which, uh, electronic pizza oven, which would make sense with the lid. So I'm making pizza. And if this works, amazing. Uh, if it doesn't, then I've still got a third thing that I was gonna, it might make the third thing look really weird now. Wow. I've got some dough that I made last night, but I'd imagine if you've not done the two ingredient pizza dough with the uh, yogurt, it doesn't have to be Greek yogurt, by the way. Um, yogurt uh, and plain flour, that works an absolute charm. I did put quite a lot of yeast in it, so I'm kind of worried if um, it's gonna, I mean, if that's what the pancake did, oh my gosh, the ingredients, the topping should hold it down, but the crust could go, oof. All right, so our pizza dough fits just about in there. It's still warm, um, but it's okay if we go quick. So we're gonna do one of my favorite pizzas, which is a barbecue chicken one. It's quite common. It's actually, yeah, my go-to pizza if I ever get a choice to have one. Uh, we tend to have pepperoni because Chloe is like the boss. And got some chicken pieces, a few green peppers, and just the odd strip of red onion. All right, lid down, fire it up. So remember, this time the base is a little cooler so it should give it a chance to warm up and not char it too quick. Starting to wonder why this was £2.50 now, because this has been nearly five minutes and that red light is not come on yet. It maybe still thinks it's cold. I can tell you that is hot. That is hot. Um, I haven't, oh, should we have a look? I don't want to burn myself again. Oh, <gasps> mm, that's hot. Don't do that. I've just got a little bit of puffage on the crust which is a lovely phrase. Um, it's working. I, I think it's working. We really do need to, uh, with this, um, I do not want to burn the base, but, ooh. Oh, the base is cooked fantastically. I, I just want more color on the top. I'm gonna have to make a call on this. A Couple more minutes and then we'll have to get it out. Otherwise we'll burn the base. It's doing that thing where it smokes again. We know what this normally means. Can you see the color? That is good. Uh, the sides are done as well. The toppings are nice and melted and mingled and, and the peppers are slightly blistered and the chicken, but the, the top, this top bit of crust, uh, I, I just don't think it's gonna cook it. Turning it off, because if I leave it for much longer, as much as I want the top to brown massively, all the heat's coming from the bottom anyway, uh, and I could burn the base. Uh, 
That is seriously, <laughs> just run my hand along that. That is ridiculously hot. I'm gonna let this cool down again. All right, judging by how long it took to cool down last time, I've now put it in my garage just to go, ooh, this is nice. So, pizza. Oh, yeah. Barbecue chicken. Honestly, barbecue chicken pizza. Ooh, that was a bit of a bite to that crust. Surprising. I mean, I say thin pan, but it's actually puffed up quite good and you've got a real nice sort of darkened crust on there. Ah! Ooh, ooh, ooh. I forgot how hot sugar can get because it's quite a lot of sugar in the barbecue sauce. That was delicious, but for a bit it stuck to the roof of my mouth. Ooh, as a pizza, it's worked really, really well though. I'm extremely happy with that. I'm just, I'd love to have got a bit more colour on that and I just don't think I would have. The base is cooked, the dough is cooked, the toppings are melted and slightly charred. It works. So I do think that is what it is used for. It is officially an electronic pizza maker. Thank you Instagram for your support on that. But we're not done yet. Last up, I mentioned how eggs cook easily on everything. We're going to try and make a quiche. This is either going to work or epically fail. <laughs> if you don't know what a quiche is, it's basically getting an omelette and pouring it into a pastry base. Uh, so we're going to make our own and I just checked, I don't really have enough ingredients to fill that machine anyway, but I think we've kind of clarified it does make pizza, um, I, but I want to try and make a quiche. So what we'll do is we'll make a standard one in here to shape it. So we use this as our guide rather than the machine and then see if we can pour the egg mixture into it. Hmm. To make the pastry, plain flour, some unnecessary salt, unnecessary, and some chilled butter that I've cut into like random cube sizes. We can use, I think it's called a pastry blender, I always get the name of this thing wrong. Uh, we discovered this on a gadget video years ago. I mean, nine out of ten times, I'll use the store-bought stuff, but... Ooh! <laughs> my front door. Alright, so that was my neighbour, and um, this is actually quite nice of them, actually. The guy that's doing there is cutting their hedges as I... Uh, cut my pastry, yo. Uh, we might hear this hound of a hedge trimmer in a bit because he's cutting bushes uh, and they want to come over our side and do ours as well. But in England, that is actually our responsibility to cut our side, it's not theirs. Actually, I think there's a strange rule that I could cut it and throw it over the fence, but we get on well with them. I just basically give them free food. And this bit is a beaten egg with a little bit of milk. Uh, you can just use milk, you can just use egg, but I kind of like to mix it up. It does help make it flaky too. It should come together and form a nice pastry ball. There you go, and if I just get my hand in there, I can start to pull it together almost as one lump that we're gonna roll it out. Now, after I clean up. I don't know if that's good. Oh, that, I think that's just gonna be enough. All right, so I'm just tidying this up. And the great thing is, if you feel like once you put it in, that there's an area that's maybe a little bit weak with some of these off cuts, it, you know, it doesn't need to be that pretty. It all gets covered by the filling anyway. You can sort of patch repair it. I'm actually really happy with mine. So it's gonna chill for about 25 minutes. Let's go into the internet cooking show fridge, the uh, freezer. This is six eggs beaten together and some milk. Oh yeah. And now I'm just gonna dump in a load of random ingredients I had for the pizza, so the chicken, the onions, and the peppers. And I've also chopped some cherry tomatoes. Oh my, oh, that must be the gardener, so. Bit of pepper on there as well, why not? Oh my gosh. All right, a little bit, sorry about that, it's mental. A little bit of cheese, the mozzarella again, and the cheddar. And that is gonna be a lovely old feeling, that. Let's take a moment to think, is this actually going to work? I think it might, you know, I just the sides might kind of cave in. But as long as the egg sets quickly, which it should, we'll be all right. All right, cocktail shaker out, you'll see why in just a minute. I'm going to keep this cold again, but this has been like 40 minutes and this is still warm. But it's like, you can tell it's been on, if that makes sense. It's been in my garage, which is ice cold. This thing's a beast. Right, let's get it out of the thing and then fill it with egg. It should come off quite easy. Oh yes. All right. Hang on a sec. <gasps> it, it covers it, okay, okay. Oh my gosh, that is holding in there. Let's close that down and I have no idea what's gonna happen. We did make a pizza though. Just like before, the light is still red, uh, but I'm not gonna open it again this time because I wanna make sure that, that heat stays in and to give it as much chance to set as quickly as possible. 
Oh, it's smoking. If it's sizzling, that end. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the? the walls of the pastry must have just given way. Where's the pastry gone? It's in there, so it's hidden in a huge blanket of egg. Oh my gosh. Yeah, as it warmed up, there would have been too much movement in the walls. Look at that charring as well. We need to get that out before it burns, actually. Oh! The really weird thing is it's like a pie crust inside it. <laughs> Now I know why it's got so many scratches on it. The amount of gooey cheese pouring through it though, it's all set and really nice and sharp. I mean, look at this color. Nah, actually don't. The quiche itself is actually really, really nice. And if I did that, the full size of that machine, which is ginormous, it's like a car tire size, the walls would have held the support. So I believe it would have worked. All right, I'm gonna stop right now, but Rose does the electric pizza oven get Barry's seal of approval. Not today, I'm afraid. I think they're about 50 quid brand new, just rechecking that link again. So yes, it does work. Um, I am totally gonna give that to a charity shop just because I love the idea of roll reversing it. They'll be like, why has it got scratches on it? I'm like, it's a long story. <laughs> it's just, you can make pizza in so many different ways and it did work. I just can't justify the price for that. I mean, it did make a good pizza, which I've had as lunch because it's nearly three o'clock. It's taken us six hours today. The pancake was okay. You know, if this was put against the walls, it would have been all right. I just think for what it is, it's quite dangerous. But if you want to check out other gadgets I've done here on the channel, there's two playlists. So do check them out, put your sweat band on, have a barathon, and don't forget to subscribe for regular videos. If you've seen any cool gadgets, send them to me on your social media platform of choice, and I'll add it to my growing garage. <laughs> and uh, thanks a lot. Now I'm not suggesting that you make a quamlet. That's what we're gonna call it, a quamlet anytime soon. But this was a lot of fun today. Cheers guys. Check your level player. No matter what your style, the kitchen's for me. Simon's mustache, goatee, maybe all three. I just turned it over. That is the base. That is a pie crust where we got it nice and flaky. So that did actually cook it. It's just it got surrounded by egg. Oh. <laughs>